Welcome back to the show. You can see here that we have a Makita, a Milwaukee, and a DeWalt. Now, what you might not realize is that we actually have our battery adapters back on the scene. There's a couple of things I want to talk to you about battery adapters, and then I want to show you what this thing's capable of, and then I want to show you why we got these. First and foremost, these battery adapters fit the tool very well. We have four slots here. On the bottom of this guy, we have four slots. On the underneath, you only have two slots. So, you're using these at your own risk. This is not recommended for everyday use. Might be nice if you had, for example, I'm really looking hard at one of the Ryobi palm routers. Just, just a quick little zip here and a zip there. Pop a DeWalt battery on it. I don't need to get a Ryobi battery. And the thing's like 40 bucks. That's what this would be good for. Of course, this one's Milwaukee, not for Ryobi, but you get the point. Now, <clears throat> had some questions about lasers and stuff. Uh, the thing with lights is you tend to leave them on. Can I run this on a laser and use my Milwaukee battery? Yes. Keep in mind, four slots, right? Data, temperature, a hot and a negative. And that's really important for your batteries to maintain their life longer. If you kill a cell on a battery and it drops below a certain voltage, you gotta do a special jump start technique to get that voltage back up, and it's still not guaranteed. So if you drop a cell on your battery, the thing is considered dead. You need all your battery cells to charge equally. If they're not doing it, your battery charger will sense a problem, it'll stop charging your batteries. So you never ever want to leave your lights or anything on when you're using a battery adapter. You've ever noticed that once you run the tool too low, this battery will start flashing and it'll say, hey, I'm too low on battery, you need to stop using me. That may or may not happen. It depends if the BMS module is in the battery or if it's in the tool or exactly what's going on. But this thing might just die completely and never turn back on. Keep that in mind with battery adapters. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, put our Milwaukee one on. Put our DeWalt battery on. I wish you could see how much torque that has. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. Let's go in the, throw in reverse there. All right, here we go. Very similar. We're no longer using this brand's battery and the tool versus this tool and their brand of battery we're using it's it's pretty much it's pretty much tool versus tool and we already know the milwaukee's gonna win but you need to focus and realize that this is directly comparing the battery technology which which is what power tools are all about you can have a nice tool and all but the battery makes the brand and i've always chased battery technology. I've chased it with the Flex, which has stack lithium, which is just, man, it's amazing. So these power stacks are just the next best thing. Any any stack lithium is the next best thing. We're going to have to wait another year before we get the stack lithium from Milwaukee. Don't even start me about the pipeline stuff. I've, I've kept quiet. I'm, I think I'm the only tool channel that hasn't said anything about pipeline. I think it's a distraction. I don't think the tools are gonna to make enough difference to justify buying a whole nother tool when in a year they're gonna come out with their own stack lithium. Then they're gonna come out with their own tools. So I'm not falling for it. Um, I might get the tools to show you guys the difference. I'm sure there's gonna be some difference. There better be, it's, 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 a newer, it's a newer tool. But I don't think it's gonna justify buying a new one. I really don't. Uh, Maybe if the collet stopped dropping bits, you know, this is a Gen 3. I waited a long time to get this Gen 3. There's two ball bearings in this Gen 3, and guess what? Still drops bits. If anyone wonders why I somewhat don't like Milwaukee, they've, they've really dropped the ball in the last couple of years. I've never, you know, disliked Milwaukee until recently. And I just want to make that clear. There's, there's reasons why I tell you the things that I tell you. And it's, it's not the crap on Milwaukee. They overall, um, consistency wise, they are the most solid. There's no doubt about that. We got this tool for a hundred bucks with two batteries. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. Price, you, you can't beat it. De DeWalt's where it's at. And they got the stack lithium. They got the lightest batteries. So that's where my perspective is coming from. Go watch that video with the power stacks versus the standard cells. You'll see the battery size difference. You'll see the weight difference and you'll see the performance difference. All right, we're gonna run these real quick and show you the difference. Then we got an update for you guys for the channel. On the Janka hardness scale, this thing's like 150 more than pine. So this is harder wood than pine. It's not exactly hard wood, but it is harder than standard stuff you'd be drilling into. And this is probably the most common thing that you're gonna find that you're actually putting lags into because they build a lot of outdoor backyard patio pergolas and covered patios and all that stuff with cedar all the time. So this, this is the material that you wanna see a test in. For fun, let's run this Makita with this 8.0. Um, right here, here we go. These packs, these battery adapters. I like to pull the tool off of the battery because you never know, man. You don't you don't want this thing just sucking power the whole time and doing some damage. If you got battery adapters, I would not leave your batteries on these adapters ever, ever, especially since you got a USB here and you could have a vampire um, kind of trickle charge thing going where this thing's always pulling power and you don't know it. 3.0 Milwaukee. Here we go. Now for the power stack. Let's see what we got. I don't know which one was faster. Leave it in the comments below which one was faster. We're gonna check it out whenever we edit the video. Obviously this is a 1.7, so it shouldn't even come close to the 3.0, if you ask me. And to show you what I'm talking about, this is a 6.0. So you can't say that, uh, you might say this is the same voltage, how could this make a difference? Just, just wait, watch. There's your comparison. Stack lithium outputs makes a huge difference. Let me show you this update. All right, these guys here, they are going to be potentially one of our newest partnerships, one of our only partnerships on this channel. And we got a review for this coming pretty soon. This shoots 14 gauge nails, which is very non-standard. You can see they go in there straight. This thing is built very robust. It's one of their larger nailers. And apparently this thing can shoot two by fours and tack them to concrete. Really excited to test that out. That review is coming up really soon. I don't have any 14 gauge nails right now. So we have those coming, but I'm super excited to test this out for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is not a review on this yet. Again, check out that stack lithium video. I was really surprised with the results. I was talking to tools with souls while I was editing it. And he said, how's it going? And I was like, man, this video doesn't show any difference at all. There was no point in doing this video. And I spent a whole bunch of time on it. So whenever you edit, you cut out 30 minutes, you turn it into like 10 minutes, and then you start chopping really, really finely. And that 30 minutes of footage might turn into probably eight minutes of just solid, continuous content. And that's the way that uh, that you guys want to see a video. Just, just very streamlined and concise and everything. And, and you're going to see me kind of jumping all around. Whenever you see the edits, that's because I don't want to bore you guys with um, my pauses like this. So anyway, he was asking me, how's it going? I was saying, man, it wasn't going any good. It wasn't the third time that I edited it, but I realized that I had my timing all wrong. And I was actually on the sixth recycle instead of the fourth. So this thing, definitely go check that video out. That's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next one.